Hi folks, Dude Does. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you were following my Facebook this morning, you probably know that I was having some issues with um, content and tags on my channel. Uh, those have been fixed. Everything back up like it's supposed to be. And I'd like to thank YouTube for dealing with the matter quickly and uh, I want to thank you all for taking the time to be patient while the issue is being fixed but everything's good now and so I thought today I would cover um, another section of Bantan Kumei now as I've said in some other videos I've studied Thai boxing and one thing I've learned from studying Filipino martial arts, CDOT, and Thai boxing is that the elbow is just as important as the hands are. Uh, like, for example, in Salat, they call the elbow a gunting. And basically, it's used for cutting in Salat. It's a cutting weapon. In Thai boxing, it's all not only a blunt weapon, but it's also a cutting weapon also. In the Philippines, it's the same thing. It's used as a blade. In Kung Fu and Karate, you see it more as a blunt crushing weapon. And even in Hathorati Bando, it's even used in defensive techniques. So I'm going to cover that, and we do, I teach what is called the eight elbows. And there's really more than eight, but it just sounds cool, and that's the name I went with. Because it, it's actually taken from Thai boxing. But the first elbow is just the, we're in our natural stance, hands are up, okay? The first elbow is thrown straight across the chest. Okay, it's almost like you're going to touch your own chest with your hand. Like that, and you're just going to turn your hand into your, your chest. And you're going to be striking with that part of the elbow. Okay, now the second one is thrown straight up. Like you're going to throw an uppercut, but you're going to throw your punch to the back of your head. That way you're striking with the top of the elbow. Let me move a little closer so you can see it. So here's one. Here's two. Now, three, you're just going to drop it straight down. Like you're throwing an uppercut, but you're throwing the elbow downward. Okay, now four is like you're going to grab something and go straight back. Straight back. See, I'm going to grab something, turn into it. Now, the way I teach it in my school, I, I do it like this, kind of like a chicken wing. Because that's really what it feels like is a chicken one. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, and then five is a diagonal elbow across the body. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna put your your fist into your chest and you're going to make the elbow go in a diagonal angle. It's going to go like this because that's a cutting elbow. That's from Thai boxing. And back you'll see him go because they're grabbing the back of a person's head and ramming their arm into their face. They're going to be cutting the eye, the nose, the cheek, crushing the jaw. So it's 
Pretty brutal. So here we go again. One, two, three, four, five. Now in half the way to bend them, they'd use it in a an offensive or as a defensive weapon. See, I have an opponent that's going to throw a front kick to my face. I step back, cover my face with my elbow. They're going to break their foot on my elbow from there. From there, I can reach out and grab an arm, and then I can do something in response. Those are the eight elbows. You can do it from both sides. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. If you have trouble tucking your hand in your chest on that fifth one, what you can do is grab with your free hand, grab the back of your fist and do it in an angle. I want to thank you for, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself again. I hope these are easy to learn for you as they were for me. It didn't take me long to get these down. I'm sure for you it will be as well. It's another natural weapon we have. Besides our palms, we have our elbows as well. And you can throw them all kinds of direction. Because you can, you can really put the hurt on someone with those elbows, but you have to get close to deliver them. But that's what the eye gouges and stuff were designed for, is not only to get away, but also to set up that elbow. You could eye gouge a guy and then boom, hit him on the side of the head with one. So that's just another step in the evolution of Ben Tickle And I hope you like it. I hope you find them easy to do. And thanks again for joining my channel and, and watching these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. The more the merrier. And as always, do good and deuces. Bye-bye.